to to what extent can things like fluid biomarkers such as kappa free light chains um serve as a substitute for csf um bands and what are the technical or regulatory barriers you see um in their routine use so actually the kappa free light chain is now part of the ms diagnostic criteria so we shouldn't be having a lot of regulatory issues using them there are actually a lot of very well validated assays i think uh there are a lot of data trying now to really pinpoint what would be the optimal cut of value after which you can say, oh, those kappa light chains are really helpful in diagnosing MS. We have a lot of very promising data. It's recommended that we use them now as part of the criteria, but certain labs will have different cutoffs. And I think one of, some of the efforts out there is to unify the cutoffs and uh, try to um, validate that in other studies. So kappa free light chain can be very informative to a certain degree, very similar to how oligoclonal bands are informative.